Here is the scalp which covers the vault of the skull. The scalp is removed from the vault. And then the next step we have cut the vault of the skull. So that is also taken away now. Once you remove the vault of the skull, you are able to see the cranial cavity. So the first layer, what you see is the dura mater. This is the dura mater which covers, this is the outermost membrane of the brain. So I'm going to make a cut in the midline, close to the midline, we have to make a cut. So you will be able to see the fox cerebri. So here is the parallel to the midline, a sagittal cut in the dura mater, all the way down. And you can reflect the dura mater laterally on both sides. When you reflect the dura, the middle one here is the fox cerebra. So these are the two cerebral hemispheres. Okay. Left and right cerebral hemispheres. These two hemispheres are separated by a fissure. The name of the fissure is known as longitudinal fissure. So the fold, one of the extensions of the dura mater is the fox cerebri. It dips in the longitudinal fissure. So I am pulling that fox cerebri backwards. That is the sickle shaped fold of the dura mater. Here is the fox cerebri. And uh, I'm going to take the brain out. So I'm lifting the frontal lobes now. So once you lift the frontal lobes, you'll be able to see the first cranial nerve, which is the olfactory. That is your olfactory nerve here. That is olfactory. Number one. And then when you go deeper, you'll be able to see the optic nerve. Those two white big nerves are the optic nerves. So I have to cut the optic nerve. And then by the side you have the internal carotid artery. I'm cutting that also. And pulling the temporal lobes. These are the two temporal lobes of the cerebrum. Once you pull the temporal lobes, you will be able to see the tentorium cerebelli. Down here will be your tentorium cerebelli, which covers the cerebellum. We need to cut the tentorium cerebelli, starting from anterior clinoid process, goes along the petrous part of the temporal bone, along the transverse sulcus on both sides. So you have to cut the tentorium cerebelli to take the cerebellum out. Then you are able to see the brain stem, pons, medulla. So I'm going to cut the spinal cord closer to the foramen magnum. Now you can take the brain out. So that is the brain here. You can see the fore brain. Here you can see the mid brain here. And this is the hind brain. So you have the pons, you have the medulla, you have the cerebellum, and the whole thing is cerebrum, which has got a frontal lobe temporal lobe, parietal lobe, and occipital lobe. And these two cerebrum are separated by the longitudinal fissure. That is where you have the fox cerebri lies.